personality style I'm going to talk about is the perfectionistic one. And this one is interesting because it's linked to so many traits that are so often seen as positive, especially in the workplace, right? This is the extreme and sometimes dysfunctional end of conscientiousness. And conscientiousness is great if you're motivated, you're good at long-term planning, you're good at organizing yourself, um, you're an effective, productive worker, and that's valuable to you, then that's great and it's highly valued, but it can definitely go too far. And it often does because whenever people are good at something at their work, they're asked to do more of it. And people who are perfectionistic really value that productivity and their productivity as a kind of commodity. So their productivity as where they get their value for themselves or in teams or in organizations. So sometimes if that's the only focus, it can end up being counterproductive. So if people are too driven by perfection, by standards, by productivity, and they forget or neglect everything else, um, then that can lead to all sorts of other problems, right? Sometimes it's focusing too much on specific details when the big picture is important. It's putting too much time into making one thing perfect when there's 40 other things that need to get done yesterday. That all leads to problems. The other way it can lead to problems is sometimes when people have really high standards for either productivity or ethics or morals or values, then they put these standards on other people and sometimes they make them impossibly difficult to achieve. So putting impossible standards on either yourself or other people is always going to lead to disappointment. It's always going to lead to failure or derailment because when those standards are impossible to achieve, everyone is going to be consistently letting them down. Or what often happens for people with a perfectionistic style is they feel like they're continuously letting themselves down. So that anxiety in this cluster of anxious styles is really anxiety about performance and anxiety about not doing well enough, your own job, your own work, your own performance, not being good enough, and that anxiety being a driving factor. So if it's managed effectively, if there's that kind of self-awareness and understanding of what's going on, then it can be channeled appropriately and effectively. And, you know, someone can put limits on their own time. They can try and make sure they're setting realistic standards for themselves and other people, not unrealistic standards. And there can be that awareness of what happens when things get really difficult, right? Because you can't keep taking more and more things on indefinitely. You can't keep piling on the work and the stress because you're worried about what's going to happen. It needs to be a balance and it needs to be an understanding of prioritizing different factors and different tasks. And for people with that perfectionistic style, often the most challenging thing is prioritizing stuff outside of work, right? Instead of working 80 hours a week is taking some time off, getting enough sleep, making sure you're taking care of your own emotional, physical, relationship, financial health, all of those things because productivity and effectiveness at work requires that too. If you're burning yourself out in every other area of your life because you're just focused on one specific goal or getting one thing perfect, it can lead to all sorts of problems. So one of the biggest challenges sometimes for people with this style is understanding when good enough is enough and figuring out what is good enough because their view of that might be fundamentally different than what other people see. So understanding priorities and deadlines and understanding how to balance that with whatever quality of you know service or performance or work is important, is valued, is necessary, but also what's realistic to achieve. So making sure that that anxiety doesn't create unrealistic expectations either for yourself or for other people is often the problem for people with this kind of perfectionistic personality style. So it's a constant challenge, especially when there's so many external reinforcements enforcers saying that perfectionism is a good trait. It's what we want at work. It's what we hire for. It's what our priority is. You know, getting that balance of saying, okay, this is valued, but to a certain extent, you know, how do you balance that priority or that focus with all of the things that are needed to have a kind of healthy and balanced emotional, physical, personal life alongside a healthy and effective work life. (music) 